Okay, Sharif says they're ready, guys. That means it's time to get into the match for Sharif versus Bruno. I'm excited about this one too. Very entertaining players. Sharif is trying to join Magic Bear on 17 points by making this quarterfinal. Bruno needs to make the grand final of this qualifier if he's going to have any chance of making the main event. He's got a long road ahead of him, but it all starts here. Yeah, he's definitely up against it. I've been so impressed with what Sharif's been bringing recently. He is peaking at the right time. But will it be enough to beat the South American genius that is Bruno, the Brazilian beast? Well, Sharif already causing him problems. 2-0. That is a very nice rebound. Look at that by Sharif as he sets up into the middle from a very difficult position. I'm just so impressed with Sharif that he's recently been able to improve his mechanics as much as he has. Not just uh, improving the speed of his game, but also the precision. He looks like a totally different player from uh, you know the player who made that 12 Titans qualifier run all that time ago. Oh, what a read by Sharif. That's going to be 3-0 already. Bruno Brazilian Beast, a great wrestling name for sure. Yeah, what Bruno's able to do with 140 ping is really quite extraordinary. Obviously, defense is very difficult to, make, uh, to do with that kind of connection. But as soon as he gets a chance to attack, you guys are going to get to see some moves today. He's got a great shot on him. Um, and he's very creative as well. Coming up with all kinds of new plays. It's going to go over the top of Sharif this time. Sharif just got a touch on it. Good boost management by Sharif as well. Yeah, Sharif definitely the better defensive player out of these two and better mechanical player. And yeah, we already know, we've known for a long time that Sharif will never give up in a series. He's got the comebacks. I'm honestly quite baffled that we're not getting the uh, Black Hole Goal Explosion. I feel like everybody's using the Black Hole Goal Explosion these days. I've come so used to car is being sucked into the goal after a goal happens. 4-0 for Sharif already. Very impressive. We saw Bruno versus Kinsey a couple days ago and it was a sweep, but it was a sweep where Bruno kept the games close, so he's not keeping this one close. That's another sick read by Sharif. He is inside Bruno's mind right now. Predicting his every move. Look at that. Just advancing into the perfect position again. You hate that explosion? I've said before, I'll say it again, I think that the uh, goal explosion could be upgraded, the uh, black hole goal explosion, if it only sucks your opponents in. Uh, it blasts your you away like normal, but it sucks the opponents into it, so the opponents are the ones stuck in the explosion, and you get to drive around uh, celebrating. It would actually be really um, similar to real sports celebrations where one team are just, you know, Standing there, not really doing much, and the other team are sprinting around. <laughs> Super happy. You want to see this in South American servers? Maybe one day, man, but not tonight. Um, this is a North American tournament. Bruno, giving it a good go. He has won a series in this tournament. He's not been uh, beaten in round one every single time. He's in round two here, thanks to his seeding. Um, but last time that he made round two, he did have to win a series to get there. So he's been putting in some legit games against NA's best. Good play by Bruno here. Just saw Sharif coming in and an immediate counter with the side flip. Really good outplay. play. 5-1. Still a very dominant score for Sharif. His kickoffs have been brutal so far this series. Um, any plans to expand the salt mine into uh, more than any in EU? Uh, not currently, because my expertise is very much within these two regions. My knowledge of player bases and just matchups historically, um, and just the history of 1v1, uh, really only extends as far as EU and the NA servers. I don't know anything about OCE and uh, you know other servers when it comes to 1v1. That's a big dunk by Bruno. Late comeback, maybe. Well, Sharif was uh, certainly partly to blame for that last goal. Ten past three a.m. I'm knackered. Just find the energy to say I love your stuff. Rest the tournaments. I'm glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. It's been a lot of fun so far, and 
you know, I was uh, slightly concerned. Uh, not slightly, well, I was just like, you know, maybe um, a bit apprehensive about taking on this workload, trying to admin these tournaments, uh, while also hosting and casting. Um, eight matches a day. Oh, open air miss for Bruno. That was a late comeback opportunity, but he's messed it up. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, guys, uh, I'm you know feeling good. These uh, streams haven't been hard at all because you guys are showing up and hyping up the games and giving me all the energy I can need. Uh, yeah, the support for the tournaments Fusion and Salt Mine have been just unbelievable recently. So shout out to the Rock League community for making these uh, tournaments as exciting as they are. Sharif uh, actually looking a bit vulnerable late in the game here. You know, if Bruno had scored that open net, we would currently have a one goal game with a minute and one left. As it stands, we have a two goal game. And Sharif better be careful. He's uh, gonna have to follow, follow the wise words of Fairy Peak in this one. That's not careful if you ask me. Bruno coming at him again. Can he make something happen with the bump? Oh, Sharif just gets the save. Bruno's still gonna be able to continue attacking though. Tried to catch Sharif running to the corner for the boost race. Sharif just stayed in goal. Bruno's getting a lot more run of the play here. This is another dangerous setup for him. Not gonna get another touch on the ball before Sharif does though. Overhits it slightly. That's a bo good boost grab by Sharif. He should be able to retake control now. Bruno had a couple of chances. This was definitely not over. Even at 5-0, he made this a competitive ending. Sharif slots in sixth goal though, and that should be GG for game one. Bruno's uh, definitely turned this one around in terms of momentum. So going into game two, I think he's uh, looking to be a lot more competitive. This actually did happen in the Kinsey series as well, where Bruno in the latter games is performing significantly more effectively. Good double save there by Sharif. Stops the air dribble midair and then gets a recovery on the back wall as well. Solid performance as expected by the in-form American player. But um, I'm expecting to see more from Bruno in game two now. Is uh, Scrub Kill still, uh, still an attorney or is he eliminated? Scrub Kill is still in there. Um, he needs to keep on winning if he's going to stay in contention to make the main event. But yeah, Scrub Kill is still, still live in the EU tournament. He plays against Speed in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Uh, and then after that, he'll play against uh, the winner of FY Alley versus Revzy. Um, obviously, if he makes it past speed. How does this guy play with 140 plus ping? He is just that good. Bruno is a legend um, in this tournament. He's already up by one, so continuing the trend that we saw at the end of game number one. Am I allowed to give my opinion on who I think will take it all? Well, of course I am. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, First Killer and Khaled are my brain predictions, but. I want to make a bit more, be a bit more bold, and I say a bit more because these are still obviously quite safe predictions. I'll go with uh, Mile and Jorias. Nice play by Sharif, just dissects Bruno. With a nice little slow bounce dribble. Threatening shots with every touch here. He really made it look as if that last touch was going to be a shot on target, but it's actually just another dribble to take the ball wide. Bruno going to go for this. Ooh, he's going to delay it, actually. Sharif was over the top of him. I think Sharif's saving this, though. Bruno misses another open net. That's the second one in two games. These are not mistakes that you're allowed to make against a Sharif who's played this well recently. Better shot by Bruno. In off the bar. That's really good shooting from close range. And this is why I think uh, Sharif's going to need to start challenging earlier in the matchup. If you let Bruno attack uh, without any pressure, he will pick his spots. Sharif with a strong kickoff. Wide open and an easy goal as well. Yeah, thanks for all the kind words. I'm seeing a lot of people in chat uh, throwing in their support. I do really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody who's been uh, subbing and uh, cheering. And all that, even though we have no alerts, no text to speech on these streams. Speaking of, uh, 
Cheers to the Prime there, Bobweiser. Everybody remember to you know, check and see if your Prime's up, but if it is, you might as well use it somewhere. Even if it's not going to be on my channel, just go uh, drop it on someone else because you're going to be able to use it again sooner. Start draining money from Death Bezos' pockets. I'm sure Death Bezos will be very upset about that. Oh, that was actually it. Bruno hitting it in off the corner. It looks like Sharif on the counter attack is going to be too quick. Nice save though, Bruno. With a great recovery. There we go. It always works. So we're going to mention Twitch Prime. I love it. I love to see. I really should have done that in every single one of these streams. It's the first time I think I've remembered. <laughs> Seems to randomly say it throughout the day. Sirocco up 2 0. on the Scarab. That's not what you're going to want to see if you're a Fifi fan. Man, I really need to just see Twitch Prime more often in these streams. What have I been doing? Instantly hype trade. <laughs> I'll, I'll remember for the main event, I promise. I'll remember for the main event, guys. I'll remember to keep saying, Ahem, <coughs> Twitch Prime. I'll keep saying it. Oh, look at Bruno again. Just insane play. From close range. So confident in himself to hit these shots. I thank you all of you guys for the Prime series. I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> but it actually did. You guys are all far too kind, though. I appreciate it. Reminds me, I actually might have my Twitch Prime up available on my own channel. Or, I mean, uh, on my account. I, did I use it on anybody recently? I need to go check uh, after this stream, because now that I'm talking about it, it makes me realize I might be able to Twitch Prime some, uh, to someone. Check this out, though, guys. Sharif, uh, you know, might have held on to game one there. Game two is looking pretty risky. Bruno up two goals. Sharif, it's all about waiting for the mistakes in defense because Bruno is inevitably going to make them uh, based on what we've seen so far from them this tournament. It's a better challenge though. Sharif didn't do anything about that one. Will Bruno be able to find a way in? He's going to pop the ball lightly on target. Another fake, but Sharif's got lots of boost in this play, so I don't know about that one for Bruno. Easy counter for Sharif. Nicely pinched on target. Twitch Prime sub to myself. I can't Twitch Prime sub to myself because my main Twitch account is my Twitch Prime. Uh, account, so. <laughs> Real misplay by me there. Uh, not make it connect to my Amazon Prime to another account. Are you even allowed to do that? Do people do that? I like Twitch Priming to other people, so I'm not gonna do that, but I wonder if somebody does that. Hey, thanks for Pipe Gifted as well. Far too much love from you guys. Only 3362 subs. What do you mean, only? <laughs> Before this tournament, uh, the most, the sub points record for my channel was three, three k. Um, and now that we've uh, started this tournament, we're way over that. I think, like our subs are way over our sub points record. Never mind sub points. Sub points are over three point five k. So that's like a ridiculous increase. I, uh, I never expected that because like, most of the time, any streamer that turns off their alerts, they just expect there to be uh, less subs, but I wasn't really too bothered. I thought it would be worth uh, turning them off just to give you guys a better uh, tournament overall because I think for a tournament um, you shouldn't have that. This is uh, my opinion, but don't mind other uh, casters doing it. More now than during Fusion. Yeah, we have more now than during Fusion. Uh, so not something I expected at all. I thought uh, that was the all-time peak when we hit 3k last year. Apparently not difference between subs and sub points well subs are the amount of total amount of people that are subscribed to you sub points uh, is the total amount of like, tier one tier two tier threes tier twos are worth two sub points tier threes are worth six sub points um, and based on sub points is how many emotes you're allowed to have I actually have three emote slots unlocked that I've not used so I think we're like uh, 300 and no we're 290 sub points away from another emote so we're way off another emote but um, Still have three slots that we can use. What turnaround here for Sharif? It's uh, those patient offensive plays that are letting him get these goals. Just waiting for Bruno to overcommit defensively, and then suddenly an opening will present itself. Don't need to force the issue if you're Sharif here. That is a really good shot, though. And he's got the follow up. This should be game two in the bag. And although Bruno starts it off with. Uh, 
really promising scoreline. He has not kept track of Sharif when Sharif starts dribbling the ball around. Make a salty team up before the actual tournament. We really should, shouldn't we? Well, right now, uh, my editor, aka Brian, is uh, very busy. Pretty much the like PC that he uses for everyday stuff and uh, also a laptop that I own are both permanently um, <laughs> encoding and rendering videos for YouTube because we've had so much content out of this event. Um, every day, either eight or six uh, 1v1s. So they've all been up to YouTube. Uh, they've all been put on YouTube. Um, and yeah, the, the PCs have been pretty busy just like constantly preparing those. Ping pong, can we? <laughs> Had the zeros there for a second. Game number three, Sharif still, the informed player, still a heavy favorite to take this one. That was a you know, more solid game too there from Bruno, but I think Sharif has learned his lesson about uh, backing off against the Bruno offense. You've got to try and spot an uh, angle. You've got to try and spot a moment that you can put an early challenge in. There it is for Sharif. And straight away closes down Bruno before he can get anything tricky happen in an offense. Yeah, I'm aware that Bruno has 140 um, yeah, ping. This is actually a good server for him. He's South American, so this is uh, what they just have to play with when they play on the US server. Amazing that they can do this competitively. Thank you again, guys, for all these hype trains. Got loads of scam trains going in this game. Uh, love to see it. Yeah, once again, Sharif is just being patient in offense. This is the name of the game for him. Just be impatient when Bruno has the ball, and when you have the ball, be patient as possible because Bruno's been slipping up in uh, defense, he's been making mistakes. But offensively, you need to shut him down. You can't let him get close to your goal. So uh, trying to save this guy's shots reactively is just not high percentage play. Yeah, Bruno's well in the top 100. I think he qualified in the second wave for this uh, tournament, so he was well up there. I think in the top 50 of the 1v1 la ladder while playing in NA servers. Oh, that's really nicely done by Sharif. Totally read Bruno's approach back then. There's the mistake in defense. You're just going to wait for it. Bruno accidentally overhits the ball. Sharif with a heavy power slide cuts it past him. Soroka swept VP as well expected. Taroko's been pretty consistent. I mean, Taroko in this tournament, uh, kind of like Magic Bear, just beating all the people he's supposed to beat and losing all the people he's supposed to lose to. So, uh, going to be interesting to see him in the next round here against the winner of this one. But I would say he is the underdog against Sharif these days. With Sharif playing as well as he is. Can Bruno bring it back? Can he make something happen? This might be the last that we see off the South American star been uh, entertaining us all week on my channel and on all the other channels that are covering the action in the North American qualifier. Nice shot by Sharif. He's just making sure to get early pressure on every single Bruno offensive play right there in his face. Perfectly reads the ball. Uh, no, I don't think that uh, Sharif has played RLS before. Yeah, RLRS before. Maybe it's uh, coming at a time near uh, now because this is easily the best I've ever seen Sharif play. This tournament has been outstanding from him. You know, it, we got a little glimpse of that pre-tournament when we did a we did a uh, crew battle where Sharif got two wins in a row in that crew battle against some tough competition. I think he was able to beat AJ that day. No, it wasn't AJ, was it? Who did the Sharif beat? I think it was AJ, right? Or did no? Did Sharif lose to no? Yeah, Sharif lost to Lion Blaze. He didn't lose to AJ. He was in AJ's team. Who did Sharif lose? Uh, beat when uh, we did that one v one? Yeah, Lion beat AJ. Yeah, it was Omar, right? Rani and Omar. Yeah, close games. But yeah, uh, yeah, Sharif just looked really impressive in those games. I was definitely surprised by his mechanical ability and efficiency. Um, Looks like a much more complete player now than he used to. But he used to be very much a, you know, a great player when he's coming forwards and not a very good shadow defender. Um, you would just tend to try and ball chase to surprise people. 
all the time. And uh, now he's very good in both directions. He's become a lot more well-rounded. Yeah, uh, beat Kali. I don't know about that on my stream, but he has uh, in this qualifier, I, I believe, in another one of the qualifiers. It's, uh, time is running out for Bruno. He waited late in game one before he started scoring. But this has been uh, even more extreme. Sharif trying to style on him, gives the ball away. It's a chance for Bruno. He's going for the reset. See Sharif coming in early, and Sharif, you're not going to get it done with that kind of play. Concedes possession at the midfield, and then gets clipped on. But really nice play by Bruno. As soon as he saw the pre jump, he just went for the immediate reset. Very nice. And this is still possible for Bruno. I mean, if he can just get a hold of the ball three more times. I wouldn't be surprised to see him scoring three times. It's, it's all about just getting the possession under control and putting his shots on target. Because when he puts shots on target, they're always so hard to save. That is one of his worst ones, though. And not a good landing either. Sharif might just get the goal on the open net at the other end. It is off for now. Sharif showing quite a lot of restraints to not try and rebound that one as well. I think old Sharif would have done that. Is Bruno playing for the bump here? No, it's a backflip to flick the ball towards the top corner, and it's not good enough. These have been some lackluster offensive plays from Bruno, especially compared to what we've become used to seeing from him. And now he centered the ball to Sharif by accident. That should be game. Sharif looking very good on the day. Uh, but fortunately for Bruno, just not consistent. Um, he's had moments, just like he did in the previous qualifier, where he looks insanely impressive. That's a great shot. Oh my goodness. Speaking of insanely impressive, I mean, this is just something else. Sharif was just a spectator. He's not ready at all for the absolute laser. That Bruno just launched it in the bottom corner. Now, Kronik is, uh, was too young to compete in this tournament. He's going to be old enough for the next one. I think he's almost 15. Good speed by Sharif. He knew that Bruno was likely to be attacking him here with the low time remaining in the clock. And that will give him the four-goal lead back. And uh, surely now enough to secure that win. GG's. Very entertaining stuff between these two, as expected, but Sharif has proven to be too much on the day. And maybe too much in this tournament. I still have Sharif uh, qualifying. I think he has to be one of the favorites to make it in. Alongside Magic Bear and alongside Lion Blazing Kinsey. And then we've got that last spot that um, is really hard to pick between, you know, Farky, obviously, contender for it, can't ignore um, the chance of seeing a Melodic in there as well, Melodic has been playing well in these qualifiers, when he remembers his game is happening. Yeah, who, who have you guys got making it in? Um, I'd take Magic Bear over Top Cheese, Melodic over Kali. Probably Farky over J-Bot, and then Sharif over Taroko, so that would make it um, Sharif Farky in the semi-final, which is a really, really crazy series. Magic or Melodic, I'd probably give that to Melodics uh, these days, but um, you never know. It's, uh, you know, the favorites versus the dark horses, really, in, uh, in NA. Um, and the favorites right now, uh, for me, to make it into the main event are... Um, Magic Bear and Sharif. I think that they're the two that are most likely. Sharif's now 17 points. They're both ahead of Wanda Mike in the points. Um, now, the only way that Wanda Mike makes it in is if none of the guys beneath him uh, manage to join him in those points. Unless this, Does Wanda Mike have a, a tiebreaker over Melodic, Soroko, or Top Cheese? Has he beaten any of them in the other qualifiers? I'm going to check that for you guys just before we head offline here um, for the day. Soroko has beaten Fifi in the other um, quarterfinal. Yeah, qualifier one. Does one of Mike have a win over any of those guys? Okay, one of Mike actually does have a win over Top Cheese. That's huge. That means that even if Top Cheese makes it into the uh, semi-final, one of Mike will have the head-to-head -head against him. Okay, nobody else relevant in Q1. Let's check Q2. Uh, one of Mike in Q2 only beat Com, so no relevant wins there. In qualifier three, one of Mike lost to Com. So actually, the only person that one of Mike has a tiebreaker over uh, is Top Cheese. However, if um, Melodic or Taroko make it to 13 points as well, which is what would happen if they win 
uh, their quarterfinal match tomorrow, make it into the semifinal. Uh, let's say only Melodic makes it to 13. Uh, and then Sharif and Magic Bear go on to uh, take, uh, take the one of them takes the tournament, the other one takes the rest of the points, and it's just a tie between Wonder Mike, and someone else down here for 13 points. Uh, what would happen is if it's top cheese, then Wonder Mike wins the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. But since there is no head-to-head -head, uh, results to go off between Taroko uh, and Wonder Mike and Melodic and Wonder Mike, it would go to series win percentage. Um, so we'd have to look at the win percentage of all these guys throughout all the qualifiers and I expect that one of Mike would come out on top there because he's only played the three qualifiers so he's had less losses uh, whereas Soroko and uh, Melodic they've had to play four qualifiers to get these points and therefore with more losses so I think there's still actually a decent chance for one of Mike to make it in he doesn't even need Melodic, Soroko, Top Cheese to lose he just needs none of them to make the final he needs none of these guys to make the final um, he also needs Farky not to make the final, J-Bot not to make the final. Bruno is out though, so that is a red uh, name down there. So really Wonder Mike needs Sharif Magic Bear to be the final, is what I'm saying. Because if Farky makes the final, he'll be on 15 points. If J-Bot makes the final, he'll be on 15 points. If Kali makes the final, 15 points. These are all too many points for Wonder Mike to qualify. If uh, Top Chief, Soroka, or Melodic make the final, they're going to be on 19 points, which is obviously way too many. So the only way that Wonder Mike makes it in to uh, the Salt Mine 2 main event is if Sharif makes the final from the bottom half of the bracket and Magic Bear makes the final from the top half of the bracket. But as far as I can see, Wonder Mike still has a chance. He does still have a chance. So do, so do all of the players who are still in the tournament. They can win their way in, of course. But yeah, Scrubkill is still, still alive in the EU tournament. He plays against Speed in the quarterfinals tomorrow. Uh, and then after that, he'll play against uh, the winner of FY Alley versus Revzy. Um, obviously, if he makes it past speed. How does this guy play with 140 plus ping? He is just that good. Bruno is a legend um, in this tournament. He's already up by one. So, continuing the trend that we saw at the end of game number one. Am I allowed to give my opinion on who I think will take it all? Well, of course I am. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, First Killer and Khaled are my brain predictions, but if I want to make a bit more, be a bit more bold, and I say a bit more because these are still obviously quite safe predictions, I'll go with uh, Mile and Jarius. Nice play by Sharif, just dissects Bruno. With a nice little slow by Stribble. Threatening shots with every touch here. He really made it look as if that last touch was going to be a shot on target, but it's actually just another dribble to take the ball wide. We're not going to go for this. Ooh, he's going to delay it, actually. Sharif was over the top of him. I think Sharif's saving this, though. Bruno misses another open net. That's the second one in two games. These are not mistakes that you're allowed to make against a Sharif who's played this well recently. Better shot by Bruno. In off the bar. That's really good shooting from close range. And this is why I think uh, Sharif's going to need to start challenging earlier in the matchup. If you let Bruno attack uh, without any pressure, he will pick his spots. Sharif with a strong kickoff. Wide open and an easy goal as well. Yeah, thanks for all the kind words. I'm seeing a lot of people in chat. Uh, throwing in their support. I do really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody who's been uh, subbing and uh, cheering. And all that, even though we have no alerts, no text-to-speech on these streams. Speaking of, um, cheers to the Prime there, Bob Weiser. Everybody remember to you know, check and see if your Prime's up, and if it is, you might as well use it somewhere. Even if it's not going to be on my channel, just go uh, drop it on someone else because you're going to be able to use it again sooner. Start draining money from Death Bezos' pockets. I'm sure Death Bezos will be very upset about that. Oh, that was actually it. Bruno hitting it in off the corner. It looks like Sharif on the counter attack is going to be too quick. Nice save though, Bruno. With a great recovery. There we go. It always works. Sorry, going to mention Twitch Prime. I love it. I love to see it. I really should have done that in every single one of these streams. It's the first time I think I've remembered. <laughs> Seems to randomly say it throughout the day. Let's rock up 2-0. Keep on the Scarab. 
Now we're going to want to see if you're a Fifi fan. Man, I really need to just see Twitch Prime more often in these streams. What have I been doing? Instantly. Hype train. <laughs> I'll, I'll remember for the main event, I promise. I'll remember for the main event, guys. I'll remember to keep saying, <clears throat> Twitch Prime. I'll keep saying it. Oh, look at Bruno again. Just insane play from close range. So confident in himself to hit these shots. I thank you all of you guys for the Prime Series. I didn't think that was going to work, <laughs> but it actually did. You guys are all far too kind, though. I appreciate it. Reminds me, I actually might have my Twitch Prime up available on my own channel. Or, I mean, uh, on my account. I, did I use it on anybody recently? I need to go check uh, after this stream, because now that I'm talking about it, makes me realize I might be able to switch prime some, uh, to someone. Check this out though guys, Sharif, uh, you know, might have held on to game one there. Game two is looking pretty risky, Bruno up two goals. For Sharif, it's all about waiting for the mistakes in defense, because Bruno is inevitably going to make them, uh, based on what we've seen so far from them in this tournament. It's a better challenge though. Sharif didn't do anything about that one. Will Bruno be able to find a way in? Just gonna pop the ball lightly on target. Another fake, but Sharif's got lots of boost in this play, so I don't know about that one for Bruno. Easy counter for Sharif. Nicely pinched on target. Twitch Prime sub to myself. I can't Twitch Prime sub to myself because my main Twitch account is my Twitch Prime uh, account, so. <laughs> Real misplay by me there. Uh, not making it connected my. Amazon Prime to another account. Are you even allowed to do that? Do people do that? I like Twitch Priming to other people, so I'm not going to do that, but I wonder if somebody does that. Hey, thanks for Pipe Gifted as well. Far too much love from you guys. Only 3362 subs. What do you mean, only? <laughs> Before this tournament, uh, the most, the sub points record for my channel was 3, 3k. Um, and now that we've, uh, started this tournament we're way over that I think like our subs are way over our sub points record never mind sub points sub points are over 3.5k so that's like a ridiculous increase I uh I never expected that because like most of the time any streamer that turns off their alerts they just expect there to be uh, less subs but I wasn't really uh, too bothered I thought it would be worth uh, turning them off just to give you guys a better uh, tournament overall because I think for a tournament uh, you shouldn't have that uh, my opinion, but don't mind other uh, casters doing it. More now than during fusion, yeah, we have more now than during fusion, uh, so not something I expected at all. I thought uh, that was the all-time peak when we hit 3k last year. Apparently not. The difference between subs and sub points. Well, subs are the amount of total amount of people that are subscribed to you. Sub points uh, is the total amount of like tier 1, tier 2, tier 3s. Tier 2s are worth 2 sub points. Tier 3s are worth 6 sub points. Um, and based on sub points is how many emotes you're allowed to have. I actually have 3 emote slots unlocked that I've not used, so... I think we're like, uh, 300 and... No, we're 290 sub points away from another emote, so we're way off another emote. But, um, still have 3 slots that we can use. What turn around here for Sharif. It's, uh, those patient offensive plays that are letting him get these goals just waiting for Bruno to overcommit defensively and then suddenly an opening will present itself don't need to force the issue if you're Sharif here that is a really good shot though and he's got the follow up this should be game two in the bag and although Bruno starts it off with a really promising scoreline he has not kept track of Sharif when Sharif starts dribbling the ball around Make a salt team up before the actual turning. We really should, shouldn't we? Well, right now, uh, my editor, aka Brian, is uh, very busy. Pretty much the like PC that he uses for everyday stuff, and uh, also a laptop that I own are both permanently um, <laughs> encoding and rendering videos for YouTube because we've had so much content out of this event um, every day either eight or six uh, 1v1s so they've all been up to YouTube 
Uh, they've all been put on YouTube. Um, and yeah, the, the PCs have been pretty busy just like constantly preparing those. Ping pong, here we <laughs> had the zeros there for a second. Game number three, Sharif still, the inform player, still a heavy favorite to take this one. That was a you know more solid game too there from Bruno, but I think Sharif has learned his lesson about uh, backing off against the Bruno offense. You've got to try and spot an uh, angle. You've got to try and spot a moment that you can put an early challenge in. There it is for Sharif. And straight away closes down Bruno before you can get anything tricky happen in an offense. Yeah, I'm aware that Bruno has 140. Um, yeah, ping. This is actually a good server for him. He's South American. So this is uh, what they just have to play with when they play on the US server. Amazing that they can do this competitively. Thank you again, guys, for all of these hype trains. Got loads of scam trains going in this game. Uh, love to see it. But yeah, once again, Sharif is just being patient in offense. This is the name of the game for him. Just be impatient when Bruno has the ball. And when you have the ball, be patient as possible. Because Bruno's been slipping up in uh, defense. He's been making mistakes. But offensively, you need to shut him down. You can't let him get close to your goal. Because uh, trying to save this guy's shots reactively is just not high percentage play. Yeah, Bruno's well in the top 100. I think he qualified in the second wave for this uh, tournament. So he was well up there. I think in the top 50 of the 1v1 la ladder while playing in NA servers. Oh, that's really nicely done by Sharif. Totally read Bruno's approach back. Uh, there's the mistake in defense. You just gotta wait for it. Bruno accidentally overhits the ball. Sharif with a heavy power slide cuts it past him. Soroka swept VP as well. It's expected. Soroka's been pretty consistent. I mean, Soroka in this tournament, uh, kind of like Magic Bear, just beating all the people he's supposed to beat and losing all the people he's supposed to lose to. So, uh, gonna be interesting to see him in the next round here against the winner of this one. But I would say he is the underdog against Sharif these days. With Sharif playing as well as he is. Can Bruno bring it back? Can he make something happen? This might be the last that we see off the South American star. He's been uh, entertaining us all week on my channel and on all the other channels that are covering the action in the North American qualifier. Nice shot by Sharif. He's just making sure to get early pressure on every single Bruno offensive play. Right there in his face. Perfectly reads the ball. Uh, no, I don't think that uh, Sharif has played RLS before. Yeah, it's not well, maybe it's uh, coming at a time near uh, now because this is easily the best I've ever seen Sharif play. This tournament has been outstanding from him. You know, it, we got a little glimpse of that pre-tournament when we did a we did a uh, crew battle where Sharif got two wins in a row in that crew battle against some tough competition. I think he was able to beat AJ that day. No, it wasn't AJ, was it? Who did uh, Sharif beat? I think it was AJ, right? Or did, no, did Sharif lose to... No, yeah, Sharif lost to Lion Blaze. He didn't lose to AJ. He was in AJ's team. Who did Sharif lose, uh, beat when uh, we did that 1v1? Yeah, Lion beat AJ. Yeah, it's Omar, right? Rani and Omar, yeah. Close games, but uh, yeah, Sharif just looked really impressive in those games. I was definitely surprised by his mechanical ability and efficiency. Um, looks like a much more complete player now than he used to. But he used to be very much a you know, great player when he's coming forwards and not a very good shadow defender. Um, he would just tend to try and ball chase to surprise people all the time. And uh, now he's very good in both directions. He's become... A lot more well-rounded. Yeah, uh, beat Kali. I don't know about that on my stream, but he has uh, in this qualifier, I, I believe, in another one of the qualifiers. It's, uh, time is running out for Bruno. He waited late in game one before he started scoring, but this has been uh, even more extreme. Sharif trying to style on him, gives the ball away. So chance for Bruno. Going for the reset. See Sharif coming in early, and Sharif, you're not going to get it done with that kind of play. Concedes possession at the midfield, and then gets clipped on. But really nice play by Bruno. As soon as he saw the pre-jump, he just went for the immediate reset. Very nice. And this is still possible for Bruno. 
I mean, if he can just get a hold of the ball three more times, I wouldn't be surprised to see him scoring three times. It's, it's all about just getting the possession under control and putting his shots on target. Because when you put shots on target, they're always so hard to save. That is one of his worst ones, though. And not a good landing either. Sharif might just get the goal on the open net at the other end. It is off for now. Sharif showing quite a lot of restraints to not try and rebound that one as well. I think old Sharif would have done that. It's Bruno playing for the bump here. Now it's a backflip to flick the ball towards the top corner, and it's not good enough. These have been some lackluster offensive plays from Bruno, especially compared to what we've become used to seeing from him. And now he centered the ball to Sharif by accident. That should be game. Sharif looking very good on the day. Uh, but fortunately for Bruno, just not consistent. Um, he's had moments, just like he did in the previous qualifier, where he looks insanely impressive. That's a great shot. Oh my goodness. Speaking of insanely impressive, I mean, this is just something else. Sharif was just a spectator. He's not ready at all for the absolute laser. That Bruno just launched it in the bottom corner. Now, Kronik is, uh, was too young to compete in this tournament. He's going to be old enough for the next one. I think he's almost 15. Good speed by Sharif. He knew that Bruno was likely to be attacking him here with the low time remaining in the clock. And that will give him the four goal lead back. And surely now enough to secure that win. GG's. Very entertaining stuff between these two as expected, but Sharif has proven to be too much on the day. And maybe too much in this tournament. I still have Sharif uh, qualifying. I think he has to be one of the favorites to make it in. Alongside Magic Bear and alongside Lion Blaze and Kinsey. And then we've got that last spot that um, is really hard to pick between. You know, Farky, obviously, contender for it. Can't ignore um, the chance of seeing a Melodic in there as well. Melodic has been playing well in these qualifiers when he remembers his game is happening. Yeah, who, who have you guys got making it in? Um, I'd take Magic Bear over Top Cheese, Melodic over Kali, probably Farky over J-Bot, and then Sharif over Taroko, so that would make it um, Sharif Farky in the semi-final, which is a really, really crazy series. Magic Bear, Melodic, I'd probably give that to Melodic uh, these days, but um, you never know. It's, uh, you know, the favorites versus the dark horses, really, in, uh, in NA. Um, and the favorites right now, uh, for me to make it into the main event, are um, Magic Bear and Sharif. I think that they're the two that are most likely.